Tchakim What up all of my people, the hundreds and millions of followers out there hitting you up in Bulgaria, Afghanistan, uh, all the Asias, South America, North America, everybody listening to the most popular podcast in the world. This is a coming of age, the podcast, a coming of age. That sweet voice that you're hearing right now that's blessing up your eardrums is your boy Frankness. And as our boy Azam is still on vacation, I got to hold shit down. So you got me back another week. You just heard that little growl in the background, right? That wasn't DMX. That wasn't DMX. I got a guest on the show who is quite the character, quite the man of the hour. This is just a regular guy, I guess I should say. He, he, I asked him, I'm like, hey, well, how do you want me to introduce you? He said, just a regular guy. In a deep ass voice. This is my boy joe just a regular guy this is a touch football fanatic if you guys see this guy play you know what i'm talking about he is the co-captain of the toronto kill it instincts ki um wow. this man he oh he's a novice uh legal mar- legal marijuana grower and legal. smoker but he's not a novice smoker i would say probably definitely not joe welcome to a coming of age podcast what is happening bro thank you very much thank you very much for having me i'm just here just uh, watch the least catch a L as usual. How I don't even want to talk about round? that. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, now just having a beer, <laughs> sipping the sorrows. That's how you're supposed to do it, right? At 9.51 p.m. on a Monday. What else are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Listen, I know Joe. Um, I've known him about him for years because uh, when I started playing touch football, obviously you see the premium teams out there. KI is always at the top of the list. And this man can ball out. When I say he can ball out, I mean he can ball out. You're not <laughs> you're not just you're not just gonna catch a ball on this dude. I'm just gonna say it. That's all the biggest I'm gonna give you, okay? Thank you very um, much. I mean, I'm not that good. <laughs> I I'm just there. There's a lot of I play around a lot of good guys, so I just try to mix in with them and try to try I'm to just a regular them, okay? guy. I'm just, just a regular, regular guy. guy. Get that ball out of my face. Come guy. on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, welcome to the show, man. Thanks. Um I actually kind of want to ask you, how did you get into football? Uh, to be honest, I been playing football my whole life. Like since I was, I think I started when I was eight or nine. Oh yeah. And played dolphins. I don't know if you're familiar with that or I not. I am. Yeah. Yeah. But played dolphins till high school or whatever. And, uh, played a little bit of high school football, but, uh, by that time I probably was about eight years deep. Yeah. I suffered a couple of injuries. Mm. I uh, tore my ACL, MCL, kind of. Like oh, did you really? Yeah, grade twelve or about grade twelve. So I never end up going to university and playing. I just said, "Fuck it," like, I'm not yeah, yeah. Use my time going to play football. I'm yeah, but I would have never realized that you blew your ACL, MCL because usually people do that. Like they don't run as aggressive as you do, at least. Yeah, so a little bit different for me because because I quit so early. I pretty much never did nothing for about five, six years. Okay. So then when I came back, it wasn't even a factor. Whereas people usually come back really fast. A year or something. They, like they kind of worry and they're kind of worried about what's going to happen. Whereas by the time I started playing again, the knee wasn't even a factor because it had been so much time. I also feel like, like since it happened so young, like your body is still malleable and it kind of heals a lot better than when you were in your thirties, obviously. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine trying to have surgery right now. 35. No, no chance. No, sorry. Tw- 25, 25. No. Oh, 25. Uh, <laughs> shoot, shoot. Uh, he's sorry, also a that? novice liar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just dead. So anyways, Joe, welcome to the show. Um, so just to tell everybody I was at ball practice and actually my boy Jamal, he was like, yo, come out, uh, come for a run the KI. I'm like, I'm not KI status. Like, I'm not coming. He's like, just come on, man. It's fine, fine. I know Joe's going to be there. I'm like, yeah, but I'll just get dummied anyways. Yo, I went there, felt welcome. I'm going to just be straight up. Yeah. Didn't feel like I was being yeah. judged. Didn't feel like anything. Yeah. I was just out there having a good run. And um, if if you ask anybody probably in the league, I'd probably say 99% of them would say you will most likely be the loudest person on the field. Um, <laughs> but I wanted Joe on the show and I is actually kind of coincidental because he was just like, yo, let me go on your podcast. 
in my mind, I was like, I was thinking about asking because I like people who just speak their mind, say their thing. Um, they can say I'm just a regular guy, but guess what? Regular people don't usually speak what's on their mind. They usually hide the truth. So yeah. Again, welcome on the show. Yeah, one hundred percent. You also forgot Jamaica, man. F- you, you know what's we funny? talk about? We can talk about your shorts. Yeah. <laughs> you we know what? Talk about your about my what? Day. Yo. Your speedos. We'll talk about those another day. <laughs> <laughs> no. listen i give you respect all, for that listen i know i know you give me respect but it's like a uh, okay, I'll give you know, you. that's that's confidence <laughs> man i i don't have the confidence to come out in speedo so i can't really judge but you listen you did i couldn't it. Did i it, couldn't man. i couldn't wear that in main like in mainland of the cities <laughs> oh, I, I was on the resort goodness. so i'm fine but if i was in like just beer like body boy what like i be, i just wouldn't last i wouldn't last oh that was oh. great i wish that you had a great, picture you know, that you could post up on so they could see it i i'm sure you got one i'm pretty sure oh of course it's on my instagram it's you know, i post that right what do you mean yo i i'm like yo i, I didn't wear it. this to not it. post it come on man it. that's confidence i love that well it I helped that. that i had a fly as chick beside me so i was like all right yeah, you know cc's this is cool but yeah yeah. Anyways, the, the juice yeah. kind of pushed me to do that. The juice. It it's important juice. to have a girl beside you when you're wearing Speedos. Yes, because they That's know important. that you're not gay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not there's anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, that's what you choose. That's what you choose. But Hey, yeah. listen, if I was there by myself with the Speedos, I guarantee you guys would be looking at me like, hmm. Oh, that would have been, that would have been, that would have been hilarious. It's crazy. That was uh, a year end. Yeah. Uh, Four months ago already. Oh my yeah. goodness! That was right before COVID. That was the last vacation I've been on. We, yo, we got so lucky, so lucky. Great. I'm actually taking my first vacation next week since Jamaica. I haven't stopped working. I'm just gonna stay home and relax. But like, I need it. I need it. That's that's the new vacation. That's all you can do. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. So people, we got a, a nice a nice topic here. A nice nice one. And I say it's nice because we usually get a lot of feedback whenever we talk about um, one or two things, gyal or relationships. And they go one to hand or hand in hand, whatever you want to call it. This week's <clears throat> episode is quite simply because we've had relationship stereotypes. We've had relationship cliches. We had, I don't even know what the relationships ones we had. We, this week is just called relationship. Simple, simple. short, sweet simple um as you know i always like to break it down into like what we're actually going to talk about so we're going to kick, kick it off by <clears throat> just it's going to be off the cuff a uh, committed relationship but being surrounded by friends who are single then we're going to go on into fine wine or grapes how does a relationship age that's going to be an interesting topic i'm actually excited for that part then we're going to roll into um Point of no return. Common ways men can feel trapped in a relationship. Mm. Woo! Jeez. Mm. Mm. And the last one, we're going to say, at what point do you give up? Guys, we have such a heavy, loaded episode this week. I don't even know what to say. Uh, I'm just going to kick this off right here. Let's set the tone. So the simple one, committed relationships, but surrounded by friends who are single. Why did we want to talk about this one? It's because you know what? I find that it happens often. Like how often is, you know, you and all your boys in a relationship or you're in one and they're single or they're all in one and you're the single one. Like what are some things that you have to cope with when let's just say you're in a relationship but your boys are all freelancing single out there? That's literally the worst. The <laughs> worst situation ever to be in. I just want that to be, you know, when you're in a relationship, the last thing you want is your friends to not be in a relationship. That is literally the down. That is going to be the downfall of your relationship right there. You just might as well cut your friends off from right there. As far as like, jeez, at least you said cut your friends off, not cut your girl off. But I mean, some guys would say the other way around. I mean, you're gonna try. You're gonna usually people are gonna cut their. They're gonna cut their friends off first. Yeah. And then what ends up happening is they realize, oh shoot, I should have maybe cut the girl because it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not rocking how it's supposed to be. Exactly. So, like, why is it, like, what are some of the things that makes this such a difficult task? Because some, I, I feel like it also depends on the type of friends you have. Because if you have friends who don't really, 
you know, they don't really go out and, you know, they're not even wild out, but they don't really go out, out, if you know what I mean. Correct. It might not be a problem, right? So, so when I, so my original thought mm-hmm. was, I think it kind of matters your friend's relationship with your girl. Mm-hmm. What is your girl's perspective you me of to your it. friend? Oof. Yes. What's your girl's perspective of your friend? Because if she thinks your friends are, mm-hmm. you know, they're, yeah. they're out there, they're doing their thing, she's going to think, okay, you're, you're chilling with your friends. I know yeah. you're on. Now, she thinks your friends are just homebodies and they don't really do much. Then mm. it's what, she doesn't know nothing at all. Mm. Then it might be okay. right? But because it actually might backfire. It, it might backfire, though. Because I've Either had a way. girl before <laughs> where um, uh, at the time, my friends were like not homebodies, but we just weren't as wild, you know, active. out there active. Yeah. And she was turned off by it because she was like kind of bored. She's like, oh, what are we just always staying in? I'm like, oh, you know, this is what we do. And uh, it, this is a long time ago, but it just ended up, you know, not working out. Like some girls do want that. Oh, you have a group of friends who go out, get pop, pop bottles or, yeah. you know, she wants the, the man who's like, oh, hey, babes, I'm going to go have a boys now. I'll see you later. And she doesn't care because she wants to have her own, you know, night or whatever. Well, I think, I think number one, it, there's a lot of factors. First of all, age, I find is, is massive. Of course. Yes. Usually, you know, when you're younger, you're more in the partying era. When you get mm-hmm. a little bit older, most people are not partying as much. That's uh, true. You know, especially when you're in a, a serious relationship, but at the same time, it is healthy to have that time with your friends. So there's, a, there's some girls I find that <clears throat> have friends and there's some girls that straight don't have friends. Mm-hmm. I find that the ones that do not have friends, tend to be the ones that are clingers that don't, don't really want their boyfriends to go out because they don't have friends. Let's just face it. Yo, anytime I see a girl who has friends, friends, anytime I see a girl who doesn't have friends, red flags go up. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? Why don't huge you have flags. friends? <laughs> huge, huge red flags. I'm like, no one There's just does reason. not have friends. <laughs> There's a 100% reason why you don't have friends. I'll tell you that for a fact. That's a, that's the more red flag <laughs> men are looking for a woman. Make sure she at least has a couple of friends and, she, and not just friends because that's a, that's another thing right now. With the internet age, these girls, they think they're yeah. friends are these, these people that are liking their pictures. Speak on it, Those are not your it. friends. I'm talking about friends that you've known from like high school. Time. Like, you don't know these people from like, I'm talking 10, 15 years. You don't have friends from 10, 15 years. If you're talking to a girl and she's like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to hang out with my girl. I'm like, it's like oh, if you ask them, okay, well, oh, how do you meet a girl? Oh, I I met her. Uh, oh, we met at a club a few months ago. I'm just like, and hey, that's your girl, girl. Yeah, I'm like, All right, yeah, uh, cool. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah. I'll wait for you guys to fall out yeah. in the next week or two, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So if your boys, um, we'll we'll speak in our perspective as men. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it can go both ways. But if your boys are always going out wilding, and you want to go out, and I don't mean wilding as in like necessarily you know you want to go out and chop girls and everything i just mean like they're going to clubs going to bars going to vegas yeah. or whatever yeah. you might feel like if your girl's not down for that you can feel like oh I, you know i can't do it and it sucks because yeah. now you're kind of you're on the sidelines looking at the game that you want to play right 100 percent. so one thing I, like for me the what like because i've been on both sides and i've had the friends that i've been in the relationships and so on yeah what i find that works best is you you got to know what friends to hang out with at what time okay you know what i mean so <clears throat> you, you might be with a girl that's not cool with all the going out whatever not to say you can't go out but you're not gonna be able to go out every single weekend yes you can't go go out with your boys every single week which is respectable you should of like, course as you get older it's respectable right but you like for me right i have my friends i know these guys are going out every single weekend <laughs> <laughs> see what i'm saying then I have other friends that's like, they're not going out. They might chill out, whatever the case is. Now, I might choose. I'm more likely going to choose to chill out with the people that are going to chill out. Yeah. But when the time comes and the once in the blue moon, I will do want to You go pick out. your wild card when you can, right? Also, you know, you got to you gotta, you gotta build your cards, you know? You got to play your cards <laughs> right. You got to save them. You got to, you know? Oh, I'm, I'm at home. 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 Boom. Now I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> exactly. Not seeing you for two weeks here. <laughs> God, buddy. God in Vegas. Four days. I love it. You got to stack the chips and play your What are you talking about? Ready. I've been home for the last four months. <laughs> I didn't go nowhere. I did the exactly. dishes. I did my laundry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's so funny. Cut the lawn. <laughs> so then other than your boys going out, um, I would want to say that 
one thing that could suck or that can be shitty is not even about going out, but maybe being surrounded by, let's say, temptation. Yeah. Right. And, and it's not even like temptation as if like not not even in the sense that like you're actually tempted to partake. Mm-hmm. It's just more so being in the environment of the situation. It's a little eye candy. Sorry? Maybe just even a little eye candy. Yeah. 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 And like it's well, well, it's, you could go out hanging with your friends. Sorry, not to, to cut you off. Oh, you please say what you got to do. Your friends, right? Mm-hmm. And you know they they could be entertaining women, and their women friends might have friends, and it might just that's just what's going on. You just happen to come. That's what the vibe is, and whatever. It could it could get sticky. It could get yes. sticky sometimes. Yes. Not to say that you're doing anything, but some women might not be comfortable with that. And that's the thing is, if you got your girl who who trusts you and knows that. Just because you're out the game doesn't mean that you you can't be a wingman for your boy, right? Yes. And but it takes it takes some a woman to be like understanding, like, hey, yeah, listen, no, I'm going out my boy, <laughs> and you know he might ha- he has a girl he's going to talk to. I might yeah. wing it, but I'm just winging it. That's all I'm doing. But that's a that's that's some thin ass ice. So yeah, well, I think, well, I think it also comes down to once again. What's the woman's relationship with the guy? Because sometimes there's guys where it's like, oh, that guy's a nice guy. I understand he's trying to look for a boyfriend. Yeah, you should go out with him and try to help him get, get a girl or whatever yeah. the case is. Or opposed to the guys like, okay, no, this guy, like I've seen, I seen him with five different girls. Like, what do you mean you're trying to win man this guy? With who's his girlfriend? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? You're just getting it's, grilled. It's always a factor. There's always, there's always factors. You're right, actually. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Cause like yeah, if it is a guy who's who's well known to be, you know, playing playing the field, uh, it it's a little less. Uh, it's a lot easier to have insecurities, right? I'm talking about the girl's mm-hmm. perspective mm-hmm. to allow you to go out because she's like, hey, well, I know that this guy can definitely pull in, you know, whatever he wants. And given the situation, who knows, right? So th- I think honestly, I feel like those are the two biggest like. Fear of missing out or, or actually missing out if you're in a relationship and your boys are single. And then also just being in the environment and being tempted by said single guys' acquaintances. And it's just like, it becomes you having to say no and like it's, just turning your blind eye or sitting in the corner or just not going at all. Yeah, it's a, it's a situation that you can be put in. Exactly. You can be put in situations you might not be want to be in or it could get... You know, you know you're, you're just hot. You're sweating. You're yeah, just like, you're like, oh, oh shit, what just happened? What's going on right now? Why are why you is this hot talking girl? To me? Why is this hot girl talking <laughs> to me right now? Why were you talking when I was single? All of a sudden, yeah. I'm taking. <laughs> all of a sudden, you guys all come. Come on, literally, I've been single for a year and a half. All right, nobody was talking to me. Now I get a girl. Now you want? Now, now you, now you want to talk? Come talk? <laughs> crazy. You're just storming at the club. No one knows why you're angry. <laughs> God, home. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, uh, let's go to the next part. So I call this one fine wine or grapes. So uh, we talked about being, uh, that was kind of like off the cuff kind of topic where we're talking about, you know, committed and being surrounded by single guys, whatever. But now if we go into the meat and potatoes, if that's still a thing, shepherd's pie, I guess. Um, fine wine or grapes, <laughs> we, uh, we're saying as, an, if, as your relationship matures, it can either become fine wine or it can just become, I like how you said it before, sour grapes, right? Mm-hmm. So I kind of want to talk about how, what are like the main thing that comes to mind, main things that come to mind when you think of a fine wine relationship versus mm-hmm. a sour grape relationship? Yeah. Off the cusp. <clears throat> like what the first thing that comes to my mind right away is fine wine, you know, you, you mature together. Mm, okay. So, as the relationship grows, you you guys, first of all, you have an understanding for each other. Yeah. You're you have an understanding for you know the things that each person is, I guess, you know, they're they're they're, they're not their influence, but their hobbies, let's say. Yep. Things that they like to do. For example, <clears throat> like I I when it comes to long-term relationship, I'm not a pro, I'll tell you that. But uh hey, <clears throat> the people that is, I know. Sorry. The people that I do know that do sustain uh, long-term relationships, usually 
they have a good understanding for each other in the sense of, yeah, I might not like this, but I know that they like this mm. and also sacrifices. They're sacrifice, compromise. Sacrifice yeah. and compromise their own happiness and so on for the other, knowing that they might like this or whatever the case is. One, one thing I would say is, <clears throat> I and this is totally my opinion, which people might disagree with, but I don't believe in... I, I can't believe that there are relationships that don't have some form of sacrifice. I mean, like, unless, even if yep. you're dating yourself, it comes a time where you don't <laughs> want to do what you, like, what you're about to do, you know what I mean? Oh, I sacrifice showers all the time. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> True, all right. But, like, I, I don't get it. Like, when I hear people say, like, no, I'm doing it this way, or no, I'm not, you know, doing this for her or whatever. It's like, well, Really? And like, how healthy, how happy, really? Like, what kind of wine is that relationship really? Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. But that comes down to the appreciation for what each person values, right? Mm-hmm. Not everyone values everything the same. That's I true. don't expect my girl to value football the way I do. Of course not. I expect her to understand how much I value football. And you would definitely appreciate if she sat down and watched a game with you or even watched a quarter. Period. Like, Period. Just even just sitting there, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, sit there. Go on your phone for all I care. Yeah, but you're here with me, enjoying me <laughs> exactly. while I'm doing something that I want to do. Just or, how guys usually don't like to go shopping like crazy, or it's just, you know, a cliche. But if the girl is like, oh, you know, I want to go, it's like, all right, yeah, let's go and I'll walk around with you. I don't like prime example. I got set up one time by this, by this young lady. I'm not going to mention her name. <clears throat> and she sat there and watched. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. Whoa, stop right there. For all the viewers or listeners who cannot see, man just said, I'm not going to mention your name, and he literally just looked to his side, like <laughs> stared down, and looked back at the screen. I'm just like, all right. So, <laughs> so all right, go on, go on. Uh, sat down, watched football with me all Sunday. I'm talking one o'clock games, four o'clock games. Eight. Eight o'clock games. That's all day. That's for someone that doesn't watch football. So it's like, okay, I respect that. But when Monday came and we had to watch Real Housewives of whatever the case was, as much as I didn't want to do that, did. I, I did it. I did it. That's love, I did it. man. That's I pulled out my story. iPad on the side. And, yeah. You know, having, but but I understood. And I said, you know, no, that's fine. We watched we watch Real Housewives of whatever on, on Monday on the big screen. Yes. But in those instances, yeah. they don't care if you take your iPad or don't care if you, you know, even go for a little break. But right. the fact that you're coming through and just... You know what I mean? They exactly. like it. So that's fine. That's a good example. I saw, I really like that one. So mature, I call it like mature slash respect as you grow up because mm-hmm. that even fall in lines with like, if you know what we talked on the episode before about pushing buttons. And um, if you know, obviously if you were with someone for a while, <clears throat> you get to know what aggravates them or annoys them. So I think a part of the maturity is you realize that you remember it and as you go on with your daily activities you avoid doing things that you know will piss them off because exactly. again you don't you're respecting maturing like you're, you're mature enough to be like i though i want to do this i know they won't like it therefore i'm not going to do it right I, listen i have a friend will be out getting drunk having a great time and that part of the one night hit, the part of the, the part that one time of the night hits, where he says, "No, nope, you know what, guys? I would love to do this, but honestly, my girl will kill me if I just don't go home." He just knows. I'm, I'm just gonna he go just home. knows, even though he's drunk. We've had our fun. I've got more than drunk. That's like an There's autopilot no system. <laughs> yeah, like, he knows right away. They've been together for ten years plus, but like, he knows right away. No, I, this is I. I have to go now. Like, that's it. Didn't I can bet you he bus. probably has like a shock collar and she's just like, <laughs> he probably does. he's Dude. like, ah, shit, I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Dude. a good example of fine wine. Give me, give me a, give me a sour grapes. What, well, what's a way that a relationship can go just sour after a while? Well, I, I think trust. I mm. think that uh, counting scores. Counting uh, scores? What do you mean by yeah, that? Yeah, well, I think that sometimes it comes back down to the sacrifice thing. Sometimes you might have one, one side might have to put in more than the other. Mm. So uh, for example, not to say this happens all the time, but for example, yeah. um, like a man 
might pay for the, the rent. Let's just yeah, say, and the girl yeah. lives there, whatever the case is. And then later down the relationship, you know, the man asks her, let's say the girl is now the breadwinner. And now the man's asking her to do something. She says no. And then he's like, well, I paid the rent. And blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? So sometimes counter scores and, and build up of maybe bad areas or problems that have arose in the past. Mm. I find usually end up, it's, it's, it's like a ticking time bomb in the sense yeah. of, yeah. You know, people hold it's like, it's like almost when you have you something bothers you and you hold up anger and it you hold balls, a grudge balls kind up, of balls yeah. up, balls up, and, then, and you explode, right? You know what? I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm kind of a culprit of that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, that's because I naturally avoid confrontation, not yeah. because I'm scared of confrontation. Like I will talk to, smack to literally anybody. I do. I'm similar, but I just like I always feel like confrontation is that it's like a waste of my time. I or agree. energy like in my mind i'm like i could go and argue i know i think i'm right but to what end it's just gonna mm-hmm. cause sour the situation cause issues i'm just gonna turn a blind eye i don't care but the problem with that is you know after a while you might be building up little small things not, nothing major just small yep. things and then eventually it just takes one bad day at work one bad you know stump your toe one bad mm-hmm. anything and all of a sudden, boom, you, you click and then you're, you're just looking at, you just see your red everywhere, right? Why I'm a call for, I'm not on the dish. Did I not, t- how many times do I have to tell you, don't turn the damn lights on? Like you just go off for no reason, right? No reason. But um, I do agree with you. Uh, counting scores is never good. I do have a, um, I know some people actually who definitely count like, good point that you brought up is money because money is one of the biggest factors they count everything they pay for they check bills they check dinners they check everything Mm -hmm. and then they feel like that entitles them to kind of almost like belittle their girl or guy but it's like that's not how it works it's usually going to be a balancing act in relationship usually someone who makes more money or less right and you just have to deal with it that's just correct how good like sometimes not even money you could be like i'm cleaning yes of course you know what I'm saying? I'm walking the dog. I'm yep. cutting the grass every Anything. single time. You're mm-hmm. not saying, but then it, it tangles in with the bottle up whole whole aspect of it. But I agree with that. But in the same sense, even everything we talked about before, it's literally the opposite. You mm-hmm. know, if literally, you're yeah. to make the sacrifices and it, it gets gross. But after a certain amount of time, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> everybody sees everything that you know, it's almost like the grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Right? Everyone yeah. thinks the grass is green on the other side. So when, not... you, when you're in a relationship and things start to get tough and it's not going well because it happens in everyone's relationship. Mm-hmm. It's great. Then it gets, gets, it gets hard a little bit. But then you adjust and then you go through it. <clears throat> I really feel like once you get over, I feel like a relationship has a hump. Of some yes. Tour, right? And it's a, it's a hump where it's like you can choose to walk away or choose to stay. And I feel like Segway. it's not necessarily bad to walk away, mm-hmm. but I do feel like if you battle through and get over that hump, whatever the hump is, mm-hmm. you grow to have a better appreciation for the relationship. Because it's, it's almost like you take a lens filter off. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. This is great. And I've just been an asshole for no reason. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so, OK, fine wine or or sour grapes. Let's talk about sex. How can that okay. become fine wine or sour grapes that can go either way definitely i feel i feel like it's hard to like there is no right or wrong answer of course if you want i can kick it off from my experience it's usually sour grapes But it's not even like a sour grapes. I think that like just, Yo, he didn't look so, to the right this time. That's good. <laughs> no, no. I what are you trying to get my head cut off? You crazy? I go to bed today. <laughs> um, no, like I just find that there's always a comfortability level, which is could be a good thing, but I mean it, I think it's all once you get comfortable, I feel like it it turns down. Mm. I feel like it's like unless I feel like especially with today's society where Everything's a fantasy with it. Social media, porn, uh, mm-hmm. 
this is actually those are the two biggest ones I should say. Um, uh, you, everybody's brainwashing to thinking it should always be something new, spontaneous, um, same energy all the time. Correct. But it's like, well, first of all, people are tired. Uh, well. And second of all, there's only so many positions you can make. Correct. And third of all, after you do, like after the girl fully understands your body and you fully understand her body, you've you've unveiled the map, you found the treasure, you're sitting on your pile of gold. What else are you like, you know, like so so that would so then that's my question. So <clears throat> you know exactly what it is that you have that you have to do to get it done. The question mm. is, does does that mean that it's sour grapes? Because now you're just going straight to the facts. You know, mm. is it A, B, C, or is it does that make it sour grapes or does it make it fine wine? Because it's just A B C and you know everyone's happy. It's simple. So I, I don't know. Let's I'll do. I'll answer it this way. I'll say okay. no is not sour grapes, first of all. So, because fine wine, remember, if you if we're going to use the analogy to its or the simile to its fully fullest potential, you drink a glass of wine, you're not like you know doing backflips like tequila or burnt throat or being like, oh, that's good, and throwing a shot glass down. You're sipping it, you're enjoying it. It's a smooth, smooth okay. encounter. It's experience, right? It's the experience. Okay. Um, just because you guys don't have you know, your Kama Sutra book sitting there, you know, with a bookmark <laughs> in it doesn't mean it's sour, right? It just means that you guys are comfortable with each other. And it doesn't mean that you're not enjoying the experience. Okay. Now, I would consider sour grapes if like, let's say you just, you're just not having sex at all, or you're like, just always aggravated, never want to, or uh, there's some passive aggressiveness, uh, so it just doesn't happen. Uh, we're not having sex that we're not having, we're not together. I'm having, I'm gonna be having sex. You might not have sex. I'm gonna, <laughs> have, sex. <laughs> I'm gonna have sex still. I don't know what you fuck you're talking you know, about. You're not having it, yeah. You might not but be having I'm sex. Having but it. I, yeah, you know, I, I know I tell you, I got a whole bunch of single boys. <laughs> <laughs> So okay, so uh, I think that's what the sour grapes is in relationship. Okay. That's that's so, my so, delineation. So what I would say to that is, I think there's different. I think the different people have different sexual drive? sex energy. Yeah, like there's just freaks. Freaks are uh, okay. I'm not a freak, so I'm cool. I can do the same thing, whatever. I'm good. Like as long as like you know, what I'm saying like, oh, I'm trying to get to eight. To, I'm gonna get to yo. Eight Joe to goes in the Joe goes in the bedroom. He has just a a list and a checkbox. Yeah, exactly. Like, Yes. Uh, Marvin Gaye, right, check. Lights and a dimmed. timer. And a timer. Check. You got the timer bit? You don't got the timer? Hold on. Hang on. Wait. I got my phone. Check. <laughs> Clothes are already off. I don't got to yeah. work. Check, check, check. <laughs> I'm just playing. All I'm saying is that there's people that are freaks and they they, they need it all. Yeah. And, and, and getting to point A to B is not enough for them. Mm -hmm. so You're for right. Them, <clears throat> for them, you know. What we're saying is not; it might not be enough for them. Yeah, they need it. They need more than that. I like, agree. I, I could easily just roll over on my side, get you know what I'm saying, to get my shit in, and roll back over and go to bed. For some people, that's not enough for them. They no. want. They want. You know what I'm saying? They want the theatrics. They want to pull out toys. They want sex swings and all these fucking crazy things. So, whoa, 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 no, no, I, whoa, I, I, whoa, whoa! What is that's that? On me. It's like, what me. is that? I'm just saying. What is this? What? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't need all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what happened to you? And I mean, me? we got one right here. I'm confused. What's going on right now? <laughs> what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> what do you need that for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what, what? So I, I think we can agree that in what was others disagree, but I don't care. It's my show. Um, it doesn't matter that it's like you don't have to have the same 22 year old energy trying to copy what you saw on TV kind of sex it's just it most 22 be... year olds can't even fuck anyways that's true they don't even know what they're doing that's a true fact true fact these girls are not even having orgasms let's be real this is a fact well i mean what are we talking about i don't know i'm just i gotta i, I gotta <laughs> well, i'm just saying i gotta educate people, all my you know, people yeah oh like, well, it's not about tell them that's what's that. going on it's about the experience and just enjoying yeah for sure who you are with right for sure for sure, right. for sure. We're on I mean, same page. at the end of the day for me it's about the orgasm <laughs> like you gotta get that out. <laughs> but yeah, for sure, for, sure, for sure. Hey mom, how you doing? Um uh just check the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I say you can just say whatever you want. Uh yeah. so one other thing, let's say fine wine. Um 
or sour grapes what's the next if there's anything else that comes to you your mind instantly when you think of fine wine or sour grapes for the relationship say that again well, the what's last it? thing i think what's that yeah. what else do i think mm-hmm. it's always trust mm. it's always? always trust always do you think it diminishes always. over time or just like naturally or it's always well i mean i think you it's know the person depend- it's all dependent on the situation experiences mm-hmm. but when the trust is bad it's sour grapes straight up bad and do you think uh here's a question do you think the trust can diminish uh due to your biology or is it strictly due to events and the person what i mean is let's say for a guy He's okay. getting older. Let's say he starts balding or he gets gray hairs or maybe he has a little bit of a beer belly. He's not in the same shape he is. Are Do you, you think... talking directly about me right now? We're no, about man. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? That's taking direct shots at you. No, 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 Please. no. I'm just saying, like, some of the natural things that happen to men. Um, or if you look at the flip side of women, uh, uh, what is it, crow feet by their eyes or maybe they have blemishes or... Mm-hmm. I don't know, the same they thing, they get less our shape, exactly, had a kid. So do you think that naturally um, trust would start to mission because they don't feel good about themselves and maybe like their self-esteem. partner looks good? Yeah, it can be self-esteem. Mm-hmm. It can be, yeah, or insecurities well, I think, and I trust. I think insecurity is always, I think it's always a factor, obviously. Mm-hmm. In every relationship, um, like you think that naturally just happens? Just. I think it's a factor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if every relationship, I wouldn't say that, but I think that yeah. definitely sour grapes. I'll tell you that. That's <laughs> definitely, that. it's usually right in, right in hand, right in hand. There's always some type of, some type of insecurity. 100%. I feel like once you, I think it's okay to have an insecurity that's natural, but if you let that grow into something that it's not really supposed to be, that's where you can get in trouble. Like well, that's definitely getting in trouble. It's 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 weird to me. I mean, I I not everybody. I don't know how everyone. Yeah, yeah. It's weird when you're with somebody you have insecurities about the person you're with, and it's like they're with you. Mm-hmm. It's like they chose you. They like you. So like, uh, I don't know. Well, but, some people can I mean, easily there's argue. There's a reason why there's cheating, right? You can be yeah, with someone, yeah. and then all correct. Of a sudden... <laughs> so I, and when stuff like that happens, I understand where the trust could break down, and so on, and why yeah. you have those issues. Uh, I can't speak for that. You know, black men don't cheat. So mm. I'm black and I don't know what, what they're talking about. But <laughs> I just said that with a straight face. <laughs> like the straightest face I've ever seen. That was amazing. <laughs> no. And when I mean black, I mean dark skins. We don't speak for light skins. Sorry. I don't know. Light skin brothers, man. Oh, I always make jokes. Light skins are the, the I know I'll have light skin baby, but. I'm gonna have a hard time that hating on a child, yo. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, All right. So um the last thing I would say, I guess, on that is um quality time. So I feel like if you're developing in a great relationship, uh I feel like you're you almost want to hang out with your girl more. Mm-hmm. Um, like I actually found two things. One, when I was single and you know, ready to mingle, yeah, I'm always looking for the next party, you know, the dude who's going out, whatever it is. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like to go out to a bar and have a boys' night, but I definitely, most definitely enjoy just having a night in with my girl and watching a movie, chilling, playing cards, or whatever, right? Yep. Because I actually love her, I actually like enjoy her being around. Your presence. Exactly. Whereas some sour relationships, I feel like the men or the women might run or find Try any excuse away. they can to be away. They either go to watch the game at a sports bar or go golfing all the time or go you know what I call that whatever. Though? What I call that friendship. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that is you, true. Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I, 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 I have a friend that uh, <laughs> was, is, I don't know, engaged. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Away. Him and his girl don't have any, like, they don't have any interest. Hmm. They, 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 they're like, none. Nothing it's at all. It's like, you're not friends. You, you, one person watches TV upstairs, everyone watches downstairs, and they're in the same house. Mm-hmm. But, like, you can't even hang out together. Mm-hmm. What do you have? Right? 
So it comes down to that when you when you say, "Yo, I'll sit down and watch TV with my girl, or whatever," because you enjoy hanging with her. You hanging guys can sit her. down, watch a TV, watch a movie, and enjoy it together. Have yes. a conversation about it and be engaged. Yes, <clears throat> right. I that, think there's that, a good balance still. Like you should still be able to, obviously. I don't, this goes without saying. Separate and you know, she does one thing, you do one thing, but there shouldn't be a problem with you guys coming together and just coexisting and relaxing together right exactly exactly and, yeah. and but the thing is also i think there's some people where you know qual- what is quality time I, i've been in a relationship yeah. where yeah, that's true. I, I you know i might be home 22 hours of the day or i might be chill with you 22 hours of the day and i spend two hours doing something else and apparently i'm not spending quality time uh, it's like what is quality time is it yeah the time is it your you presence s- is it one-on-one engagement is it do something you want to do correct right yeah. so you you could spend time but what is actually depend what is quality time actually count for like what is it it's funny like if i were to give my insight on that it's i i don't expect quality time to be like my girl sitting on my lap or like even in the same room sometimes for me if i'm like doing a house um uh, a house reno like something some kind of you know project yeah let's say i'm outside and she's also outside let's say doing her plants or just coexisting have a drink on the barbecue whatever it is for me i'm like that's like for me that's quality time because she's just kind of doing something around the house like i'm doing something we're we're there we're listening to music we're vibing and we might say look at each other make a joke slap each other's ass or something like that but like mm-hmm. we're we're are you in the speedo <laughs> yes maybe i am maybe i am <laughs> yo, you know what i'm gonna rock that speedo on my property this summer i'm gonna send everybody a bitch but yo say something <laughs> i like it i like it what I was going to ask you, though, what I was going to ask you, okay, so you tell us quality time. So then I my love question questions. Be, yes. So, so you guys do gardening, right? You're like, all right, cool. Now she said, all right, I'm stepping out now. Mm-hmm. See you later. Mm-hmm. Go out and do whatever. <clears throat> Are you be okay with that? Yeah, why would I care? I don't know. Some people, but that's what I'm saying. You're going to be okay with that. Some people will be like, okay, yeah, we were like in the same vicinity. Yeah. We didn't spend time together. Mm-hmm. Nah, man, listen, right, I know so that sweet. both of us are very busy. She has her things going on. I have my things going on. So just us, like I said, that's why you use the word coexisting. Yeah. Just under the same roof, relaxing, doing something. For me, I love that. And then, yeah, if she needs to step out, she's meeting up her with a girl or something, I'm like, yeah, you know, go ahead, for sure. I know you're going to come back and hang out with me. It's okay, right? That's me yeah, personally. Yeah. yeah, no, I hear that. I hear that. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> and you guys live together and you guys live together so it's whatever yeah 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 exactly right um all right so let's let's move on to the next guy here um this is a so th- when i said this one you you did the dmx growl um <laughs> point of no return common ways that men can feel trapped now let me explain what i mean by this mm-hmm. um when i say trapped i mean Let's say your relationship has aged, but is not fine wine. Let's say it's sour grapes. And deep down, you should probably leave when you want to leave. What are some things that would make a man feel like he shouldn't or can't, you know, leave the relationship because of whatever? uh, I say right now, especially in this day and age, is this you know, mental health, depression. Yep. You know, there's some, there's some people that you literally, you know, they'll, they'll be, they'll be suicidal. Hmm. If they, if they, they leave. Them, right. Or at least they might portray that men and women. I've heard both sides. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, I'll kill myself. if We break up and all Is that stuff. So I mean, word. <laughs> I mean, if I can, you know, I can imagine if I hear that, I might be like, hey, you know what? Yeah, right. yeah. Like, what, what are you going to do? That's a real thing. That, do? That's it, a really real thing. Right? So there's, there's a, I've heard a lot of that, especially with anything, mental illness. It's hard to Walk leave away someone from. when you know that they have an actual issue 
and you can't necessarily help them. Because you feel like you're abandoning them. And if something, Lord forbid, does happen, then you're going to have that guilt Correct. for a long ass time. Correct. No matter Correct. if you know that you did everything you could or if you're like, oh, no, I was a great guy or girl, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you're still going to have a party be like, but did I do everything or could I have done more or whatever it is, right? That's a good one. I, I didn't even think of that one. That's a really good one. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's wild because it's one of those sensitive ones where it's like, how do you get out of that? Yeah, I think and guys like I don't I, I don't even have an answer for that actually. And there's people that actually are with people that actually have real mental illnesses, mm-hmm. and they don't know how to they don't know how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. And it's like when you see <clears throat> someone that's vulnerable like that, it, it it puts a lot of pressure on yourself. Even if you're, you know what I mean? Even if you're not involved or there's, you know, you went to your wit's end because for example, a woman could be with a man, it could be whatever. I'm not going to say, I don't really know enough on any of this stuff to really name any of it. Hey. Let's just say somehow it became abusive, mm-hmm. but realistically this person has some type of mental illness. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, do you, how, do you, how do you deal with and that? I feel someone like that you love? No matter how big of a dick you are or how um, separated from your emotions or if you want to say it, you can be, you're going to feel something like you're going to feel some, you're going to feel some kind of worry or slight anxiety or something. If you do say, you know what? I try to help you, but I got to walk out on this one. You're on your own. You're going to, you're not just going to be like, Oh, all right. I'm good. (laughs) You're going to think of it a hundred percent. Like I could, I'd be like, shit. Like, uh, let me message. Hey, you okay? How's it going? Do you, you know, like for sure. Like I can't. Correct. That's a tough one. Wow, that's a good one, Joe. Jeez. Yeah, man, it's great. It, I, I, I've experienced something like that. I don't want to say I went all the way, but yeah, yeah of course. I've experienced something like that where it's like, okay, like fuck, like what you doing? There's not much. What are you gonna do? Right. Like, you can try to get them some help, I guess, but you're still gonna feel like you're supposed to be the help, right? But and then a lot of the issues might that you might have in the relationship might be due to the issue that they have. Mm-hmm. And even if you find them help, they might always have this issue. Yeah. So it's hard to, especially they're fall when, back on you. Correct. Now you're responsible for someone. That's another reason why you might have to stay. You're responsible for someone. Yeah. That's a deep one. Actually. So this is actually roll into that one. So responsible. Um, I guess there can be different types. So we just talked about, I guess that would be like a social responsibility, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but there can also be definitely, especially in these times, a financial one. Yep. I, I don't even need to go divulge into that no. one. But no, it's obvious. Uh, that's pretty simple. Like if one of the two don't have money, if you do separate, like they are literally on the street, it's yep. like, all right, well how do you feel about doing that right like no good-hearted person is gonna feel okay i have nowhere like, to go yo uh i know See, you know but you, you gotta go you gotta go yeah. i'm sorry okay, i got this uber for you where do you want me to take them? <laughs> yeah. where do you want me to take you i'll pay for this uber to your tent in uh trinity Correct. park <laughs> like, it's an xl she, like, she, not <laughs> even <laughs> it's an xl it's gonna fit all oh. your tent and all your stuff don't worry but that's that's a big a one huge one like i don't think we need to talk about that um, it was on the obvious kids, obvious. Yeah, yes, yeah. And that's usually always because of the kids. Like you you don't want the kids to grow up without a father or or with a broken family or with right. a different father who you don't know if they're going to be good, bad, abusive, uh, yep. teach them right yeah. morals. But even so, there's people that are married. They, they, they're not together, but they stay together just because they want their kids to, or they're scared to tell their kids yep. or whatever the case is. Or maybe they just feel like they're like, what am I gonna do? Like, so I feel like like uh, you can also consider the the hassle. Like, how much of a hassle it is. Like, if you're married, it's like okay, and you have assets. You gotta divorce. You gotta split the assets. You gotta split the kids. You gotta oh go find goodness. a place. Then you have to restart all over again. Then you gotta it's tell people cheaper. I'm a divorcee. It's like, geez, good lord, this guy just right, you say it one more time. It's cheaper to keep her. Woo! That's what they say. Good That's lord. That's what they say, man. Who, who's who's they? Who says that? Bill Gates. <laughs> Damn, this guy just gave me an answer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so Jeff Bezos, I'm pretty sure one of those guys will say it. Oh, man. Actually, so I heard got, that. He uh, got divorced and became the richest woman in the world. I don't know how guy, that happens. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand that. What was it, 50-something billion she walked away with? Great vagina. Like, <laughs> she already got a boyfriend. I'm kind of pissed. I can't lie. 
I was, oh, you couldn't link her up? Man, hey, I'm mean, Joe from KI, her. yo, yo, how yeah, you doing, like, yo? I'm just a regular guy, but jeez. <laughs> Can I just get one night out with you? Hey, I'm a regular guy. I don't need extravagant sex. Just I would have rubbed out Check this feet. off and we're oh, gone. <laughs> Best foot rub she would have got in her life. Yo, lick big toe. Oh, everything. What do you need? I, I wish Sam was here. <laughs> what do you need? Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. So yeah. So I guess it'll be a hassle. Money, mental health. That was such, such, such a good one. Um. Yeah. What about the, uh, the pressure of your appearance? Um. Well, like you don't know it is like you don't want to be seen as you know yep yep with, with the social medias and all that stuff you know that they're going straight to the memes you, you know can get your name your head dragged drop. through the dirt like yeah you're like cause... oh my goodness like, hold on <laughs> what kind of memes is this person dropping who are they talking about yeah oh, yeah yeah I who are you why. talking about yeah and i think oh, people I really say. do care they care yeah. about what yeah. the person thinks about them after 100%. they broke up right Correct. um especially if it's like family shit. friends yeah yeah but yeah. Like, what, oh, what is she 100%. telling other people or yep. you know or her dad's gonna be just so disappointed blah 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 and yep that's a real thing people are like 100 percent. i try my best to have an i don't give a fuck attitude yeah 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 because i mean it, that shit will ruin your goddamn life you start caring what other people think you're it will ruin your whole life but it's 100 percent a fact especially what you're saying with their family right mm. you don't want they're close with whoever mm -hmm. you don't want them involved in here personally or if your friends are intertwined right oh. it's like you break up it's like uh you got this awkward thing with all your friends i now. hate like, that I that's like i feel like that's one of the that. worst case scenarios it's like the worst thing ever like at least I, if you lose I've assets some weird ones it's bad right I've like if you lose bad sorry, go ahead, go ahead. oh yeah I, I was just saying i've been in some bad ones where it's just like oh my goodness you gotta you have to choose yeah, but yeah. really, you might be friends with one, but then you mm -hmm. probably friends with the other now, probably more. You know, so and then you're right. actual friends with both. I'm like, I got some friends. I'm like, listen, and then you gotta show up at a party. Like, up. is she gonna yeah. be there? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'll, yeah. I'll come. I'll come next time or something like that. Right. Oh man, I used to go through that with my ex. I'd be like, listen, you guys need to not invite my ex. This is ridiculous. I don't care. <laughs> like, this is, like, how? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Are you my friend and inviting my ex? Are you serious right now? Like, what's going on right now? Like, no, you can't. But we do like that. her better. Yeah, like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, I don't care if you know her. You guys are cool. You're not cool. You don't know her other, other than it's through me. She's cut. You need to cut her. I've never been in that situation. I'm it's thankful. I've never been in that situation. So just think about it. So, so. Jamal Amanda. Let's say they break up. I, 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 theoretically. Ooh, not, name drop. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's only, there's only uh, person I know I can call out right away. Uh, it's you know? a thought. It's yeah, a think tank. Saying, it's yeah. theoretical. 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 That's all. Just so you think about it. So, they are so intertwined with everybody. That's what I'm saying. So like, so now you guys have you guys have something at your house. Who are you right? I mean, <laughs> do I have to answer? <laughs> no. I got an answer. I you understand what I'm trying to say. You I know exactly what I mean. No, it's devastating. It's because especially if you really like their friends and you really got to know them and you're actually close and you actually hung out with their friends like when they weren't around because you were that cool. And now you have to be like, you know, shit, these years of friendship I just built, I literally... You're no longer just dropping assets. Money's money. A house is a house. Cars, cars. Mm -hmm. I can even say, I'll say it. Kids are kids. But now you're actually losing. <laughs> I mean, they're just sport. We're just sperm, right? We got lots. <laughs> Yo, <it's just> <laughs> oh my gosh. Cars are cars. How's that? Kids are kids. <laughs> They're humans, I know. They're, they're just humans, that's all. Listen, man, I usually say some controversial stuff on here. It's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I, we get the point. But the last one I want to say, actually, which is kind of a selfish one, is uh, people who don't want to break up or feel trapped because if they do, they know that they'll lose more than the other person. As in, like, maybe same thing that we just said. They enjoy the person's friends more. Mm -hmm. They enjoy the person's cottage or mm -hmm. boat they yep. enjoy the person's uh, money connections network um 
you know, the you can go on yeah. and on, right? Yeah, their life is fucked. So they're like, man, if I leave, <clears throat> I'd be all right, but I'm gonna lose a lot. So they just might yeah. just ride the wave because they're li- they're in a relationship for the wrong reasons. I right? find women do that a lot when they get cheated on. Mm. They get oh cheated yeah, on, yeah. Well, that's yeah, that makes and sense. They'll thug it out, knowing just because they're, they're they might be concerned about how it might change if they, if they leave the life and they end up staying in a relationship. That's like what, 80% of celebrities? Like, yeah, he cheated on me on the road, but I mean, I got this Rolly and you know, I got this Lambo yes. and I can literally do I whatever I want. Fucking house. So it's like, all right, I'll just do, yeah. you know what? That's a good podcast topic right there. Oh, damn. Thug I gotta write the that, fuck out. I got to write that down. <laughs> 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 Shit. Um, all right, so last thing. <clears throat> uh, sorry, what was, sorry what, was the, what was the last one you just said again? Because I was just thinking about something. Uh, if you lose out on, like, if your fear of losing out on what you, losing what you have, sorry. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like connections, assets, uh, cottages, cars, uh, people she knows. I think a lot of people, too, are worried about the other person moving on. They're like, oh, you know, we could, we could leave, but they might move on faster. Or yo, I know it sounds stupid, but this no, is the crazy shit people yo, think of. You keep dropping these things I I don't think about. That's <laughs> yeah. a huge one. What are you yeah, talking for about? Sure. You're not gonna move on faster than me. Hundred percent. Or like even people who feel like they will move on faster. The second they yeah. see they can have like five, six girls in a week. Yeah. And the second they see their girl That's like, fast. link of like, link up with one person <laughs> in the next month, they're like <laughs> Yo, who's that? Who's that? Why? Yeah, Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like you're okay. It's okay for you to do it. Yeah. But then, yeah. yeah, it's jealousy, right? You you yeah. want to feel like if you leave them, you, you are taking away the best thing they ever had in their life, and they're just 100%. like, nope. <laughs> I've been not waiting for you better. to leave. You're not getting better than me. <laughs> if you do get better than me, I'm pissed. Yeah, and that's Straight. a very fake world. And actually, uh, well, sorry, I most of my relationships have been ending well, but I like. I wish well for my exes. I'm like, yeah, you for know, sure. girl, yeah. you got a good diet. Cool. Part of me yeah. is just like, you know, yeah, still screw you, but no, I broke, uh, I broke at least you got a girl. I need, you, I, need, I need you to move on stuff. If I broke your heart. I need you to move on. That way you don't, you don't try to put nothing on me. Yeah, or you're you the know. heartbreaker, eh? Yeah. Well, that's what they say. I, I didn't try to break no hearts. But who is they? I wonder who they is. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> they just, this is a term. That's all. Joe in a phone has a contact called they, and they're just saying all this pure shit about him. <laughs> <laughs> um last thing about this is this is a big very broad ended question but um you can't even get to specifics it's more so a feeling at what point if you're in a long term relationship and hey you could have you could have been fine wine for a while but then you turn to sour grapes no i should have called this episode fine wine or sour grapes sour grape. yeah. <laughs> um it's but it's not too late it's not oh, too late. Hey, it's my part. I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna name this episode Joe. Uh, <laughs> I would be mad at you. I would be mad at you. Um, but at what point? Let's say you get over the bump, or you're stuck in the bump, whatever it is. Do you just say, "Okay, I give up"? Like, do you, you're just like, you know what? I'm out. And I know people have different limits, but yeah, I, th- I think number one i'm like the worst person to answer this because i think my trigger is way too fast i'll be out so fast like i i just don't have the patience i just <laughs> give me an example like, give me an example I, please I give me an example i just hate arguing okay i don't into the arguments i, I find that a lot of the arguments are really super stupid they're always on some dumb shit most of the time they're not like serious yeah you get argue get mad and then what we just have sex and then everything's cool mm-hmm no, my lying is no. That's you're right. Was, it's like, you're so, right. So I agree. Me, it's like I, once you start arguing too much, I'm just like, okay, I, I, I don't have the energy. I'm not yeah, yeah. Exit myself. In that situation. Hey, a lot of guys have that, and just not as many guys act on it. Um, but there's no fault. It's not about you being the worst person to ask. That's a very real thing. That's some people like arguing is just so tremendously energy sucking, and it's just like you know what. I'm not going to do it. And there are women out there who won't argue, like who are actually on the same page. They're just like, there's nothing that could happen that is really worth us getting into this big fucking stink. Like why? Literally. Like, what did you do? You did this. Okay. I don't, I don't agree. I did this, but guess what? Who cares? Like we're here. Let's just move on. 
we are right, which is very defined. Simple, right? Um, cheating, abuse. These things, these things should be automatic for people. No, Cheating. of course, yeah. I hope so. I, 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 it's it's definitely not. I'll tell you how from now. Yep. It's definitely yep. not. But these need to be automatics. This is when you call it done. It quits. It's mm. over. But these things are like that for me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, that's cool. Like, yeah, you know what? We can be cool. You know what? You want to have sex with that guy? That's fine. But this is over. Yes, between yeah. me and you. There is no me and you. Don't expect do this that. to drag so, on or be no, connected no, 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 back. No, 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 no. There's none of that. No, no, I no, agree. No. That's cool. That's cool. We can be friends. That's mm-hmm. fine. You know what I mean? I understand that. But that's why the hump, hump is done for me. But I <laughs> think just shook his head so once many again, times. it comes down to respect and truth. Yeah. Uh, sorry. And uh, honesty. And honesty. Yep. Not honesty, but f- sorry. Not faith. Uh, trust. Trust. <laughs> Or you have you, to trust the other person. If you have the respect, you have the trust, everything else can kind of fall in line. Correct. When that's kind of lost, that's when everything else kind of falls out of whack, right? You start yeah. having these arguments and the arguments get disrespectful. And that's where they get messy. Because you could have an argument that's uh, that's that's intelligent. It's a good critique, actually. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And you could critique each other and so on and so forth. I find that, you know, me personally it comes back to where it's like i don't say enough at the time and i'll mm-hmm. wait and i'll wait and i'll wait and then when something happens i'm like hey, you know what <laughs> <laughs> Let you all know. Like, I had enough i'm not gonna all tell day. you about what you did yeah. two months ago yeah. i'm just gonna I got to, i'm not gonna tell you <laughs> but I, I have it all written down in this journal right here yeah yeah <laughs> May first, two thousand and twenty-one. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> twenty-nine days ago, doc. <laughs> no, I agree with you. Like, I, I feel like, so you know what? I think that's a good answer because what I was gonna say is, I feel like in a relationship, and this is me. Not everybody would agree, but <clears throat> you should have kind of like your four, three, or five, whatever pillars of your foundation. Mm-hmm. As in, you're like, okay, for me to stay and enjoy myself and be happy for the rest of my life, I need X, uh, trust, honesty, respect, maturity, uh, spontaneous, whatever, whatever your yeah. thing is, right? Sets of humor. Exactly. And, and it should be like, okay, if I have four of these six things, we're okay. Cause you know, you can't get it perfect yep. everything. No, you're right. Once your pillars start to knock down, I don't, I don't believe that you should automatically be like, okay, I'm out of here. Maybe some of them, like if you lose trust, you might be like, okay, well, screw off. But let's say maturity disappears a bit. You can say, okay, um, let me let me see if I can rebuild this pillar. Let's work on it a little bit. Okay. But if you realize that you cannot get that back, then you have to be able to say, okay, well, now without that, I'm not going to have my happiness I want because that's going to transcend into whatever, or maybe I'm going to lose this pillar or mm-hmm. whatever the case is. But I feel like, and the reason why I say it that way is because I think you do have to, like what we said before, you have to have compromise, sacrifice. Yeah, I know you're not going to get absolutely everything. You're going to get pissed mm-hmm. off sometimes. You're going to be like, I want to strangle you. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you have to be like, okay, this is small. What what this issue is, is minuscule compared to the th- great things that we do have. Therefore, mm-hmm. it's not a problem. I but if agree. you do lose what you value, like you just said, trust. If you lose trust, like trust for me is a big one. So for me, if I lose trust, it's like kind of like that's a walk out the door. I'm like, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> I'm gone, right? But there's other ones where it's like, okay, well, let me let me let me talk to you for a second. Maybe you need a reminder. Mm-hmm. And then if it's like, okay, snaps into shape, I'm all right, no problem. But uh, I like how you, I like kind of, I, I like your attitude. It's just like, listen, this is what I need. Therefore, if it is there, I am happy. If it is not there. Well, I mean, bye. Well, 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 my issue is that I spend so many relationships where it's like, you know how long it takes to get out of a relationship? Mm. I hate that. I hate Wait, that to process. get in or get out? Get out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When you say that first time when you say we're not together. And then you get back together. <laughs> you say you're not together. Well, I, I've never done breakup and makeups. You do breakup and makeups? Not really, but I feel like, you know, one thing leads to another, you, 
you know, people get horny. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know exactly. There's a, com- there's a comfortability and all that, and then the blinds get blurred, and it's whatever, and it's weird, and it's it's, it's to like to actually break up, break up with someone. It takes time. It does. You're right. And time and energy. I think energy is oh the biggest my thing. Goodness. Time so is like, one thing, but energy. Oof. My thing is, you got to just know if this mm. is not going to work. It's not going to work. Why are we continuing? As men, it's hard to stop having sex. When yep. you know you can get it easily. Yeah. I, I say it the nicest way possible, but like when you know I can get sex right here, even if you don't, you might have problems with the <laughs> right here on your mic. <laughs> <laughs> you will go back and take that. Yes. And I think that blares the lines a little bit. I'm not saying the women's gonna feel it. Well, hey, the cliche was that men uh, thinks with the head, but it's the wrong head. Exactly. Right? It's exactly it's, it's a true fact, right? Exactly. So it is what it is. Fair enough. Listen, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. That was so the thing I liked about this week is we were we were all over the place. Like sometimes you choose one topic and kind of stick to it. But I like how we kind of just rounded it out, gave everybody yeah. just punches left, right, center, up, <laughs> down, knock out, get back up, next round. Um but with that said, <clears throat> it is time for I mean when I say everybody, I mean everybody's favorite part of any show hands man's t- hands made tale uh game of thrones wow. uh a uh, uh, winter soldier and falcon um no show has shit on this segment that we're about to do right now this is it is sorry time for spitting in five so just everybody know everybody knows uh every single time we do spin five and have a guest i always tell them yo you gotta pick up like just make any random sound and we had a few times where like the guests were literally just like just staring <laughs> at me while i'm just making ape sounds so i'm like bro come on man help me out Everybody, for those of you who do not know, this is Spin in Five. If you don't know, you live underneath a rock. If you know, then thank you. Um, Spin in Five is quite simply, I have a question, topic, would you rather, subject, scenario. doesn't matter what it is, but I have something okay. that I'm going to pose to my guest. It has nothing to do with the show. The guest does not know what it is. It is 100,000% spontaneous and unscripted just like the show joe are you ready for spitting in five born ready born ready i am going to ask you a certain list of animals and i want you to tell me if you think honestly that you can win in a fight against them (laughs) okay i respect that all right okay Let's do that. All right. So let's start off. Uh, let's start off domesticated. Okay. Um, do you think you would win a fight against a dog? I I, I work for uh, I do reader meetings. <laughs> okay. Living, so I'm on people's properties every day, all day. Um, I do anywhere five hundred to thousand houses a day. Ooh, so really? I'm beginning. I've got yeah. I, I get I get into. Oh yeah, I, I walk about twenty kilometers a day. Wow! So I, uh, I've been I, in the last the month. I've actually, you know, I had two dogs eat the bottom of my foot. So I, I I'm gonna say I'm gonna win that battle. I already won a couple of battles. I, I won't lie; these dogs are a little bit small. But hey, they the this guy's talking about little and like that's all that That's all that they, they wanted to smoke, and I gave them the bottom of my foot. <laughs> And that's it. They, they knew what time it was. So Your neighbors are just seeing like dogs just freaking catapulting. Just <laughs> bare kicks with steel toe shoes. Yo, let's hold that. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Oh are my you... gosh. <laughs> oh, bam. <laughs> Sit down. Oh my gosh. Okay. So a dog. Yes, that's fine. Okay. I'll give you that. Fair enough. Okay. Um, how about a monkey a monkey Ooh, never thought about that monkeys so, are strong as hell 
Just to let I would you assume know. they're very mm -hmm. lean. They're very lean. They can swing. Uh, they're they're pro apparently the most human animal that there is. Doesn't mean you can't clock a punch. But they're stupid. <laughs> and that's the problem. They're stupid. Wait, you never seen a monkey open uh they use a rock as a tool to open a nut and discourage handle. I mean, I use a plastic <laughs> bottle to open a Heineken bottle. So that's as far true. as I'm concerned, hey, we could get we hey, we could do whatever we want to do, but I'm kicking the shit out of a monkey. <laughs> Maybe a, maybe, maybe a gorilla might have a chance, but a monkey, I'm kicking the crap out of a monkey. Are you kidding all right, me? So thing, so smash that's two for guys. two then. So you're, yeah. you're, you're, all right, you're good. So yeah. for the animal kingdom, all right. That is so Choke funny. slamming the shit out of a monkey. <laughs> kidding me? Oh my gosh, I'm actually pitching you fighting a monkey right now. It's extremely hilarious. Um, kicking the shit out of a dog, and I'm choking, choking, choke slamming the shit out of a monkey. So I would say... I am also two for two. I will definitely, I don't care what dog it is. Like it might, you know, might get a bite or two, but I'm 100% oh, crushing dog, okay? it. Monkey. I mean, pit bull, if a pit bull gets a bite, it's going to hurt bad. Yeah, not okay, go. Anybody will hurt, but like, yeah. yo, if you just give it a good field goal kick, you're, oh, you know, you, you at least get a start, right? Yeah, bare minute, monkey, bare minute monkey, cushion. monkey would be tough, but I think with the right tactics, I can handle a monkey. Just, I would not want to grapple with a monkey. I would not do that. Um, okay, here's a little more ferocious one. Hyena. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, just one, though, not a pack. Okay. Just one what? hyena. Scratch the shit out of me. I think I could win that battle. You think, think you I'm could winning win that. a fight against a hyena? Yeah, like, he's gonna attack me, but then like I'm gonna, I have the, I, I just need to get him off me. Like once I get a grip on him, it's over. You like just I feel need like you just scratch it. I feel like you scratch the shit out of me. Maybe bite me a couple times, but I feel like once I grab him, it's over. You know, hyenas has one of the strongest bites in the world, right? So what you think one bite is gonna get me? They're gonna have to bite me like ten times. The strongest you, bite. In fine. When you bite me, it's gonna hurt. I'm punching your face. I'm crushing you. Don't. No, if I'm in pain, I'm crushing you. I'm Yo, crushing your head. Lions you are scared of hyenas. Dog. Do we have? Uh, no, no. They're scared of packs. If it's one on one, they'll smash. Uh, one. That's okay. That's fair. That's fair. That's they might fair. get a one bite, but then they're crushing them. Uh, Yo, my, this is my thing. If I okay, this is what you're thinking. You're thinking of when they hit you. What happens when I hit a hyena in his head? How big is their brain? Not the brain. A hyena is taking knocks before a guy. They're just like, all right. They come really. No a chance. buffalo. Yo, they'll no jump chance. right back. No, right. I'm smack. I'm so you're CKO. winning against a hyena. I, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a tight battle. It's gonna be a tight battle. I'm, I'm kind of scared of the hyena. I can't lie. I'm, I am terrified. I think I'm gonna win. It's life or death. I'm winning. I'll, eat, I'll eat you if I have to. I'll eat the hyena if I have to. For me to say I will win. Like I eat like how guy. big? Okay, fine. How big is a hyena? It's you a know? good size, yo. It can go toe to toe with like a jaguar. It's not so the same size as size? lion, huh? Like human size, like six foot. No, jags are like little, uh, um, like like cats. Or maybe I think of a cheetahs. You know, the hyenas are small, man. They're small little. They're guys. not small, dog. They're like well, half foot and a half, two feet. What? That's like a fox. What do you mean? I'm smashing a fox. <laughs> That's on the list. Smashing a fox is on the list. We were both I'm smashing, smashing a fox. A fox. <laughs> Four leg animals not smashing me. I'm sorry. No. Okay, what about this? Uh venomous snake. That's a smash, tough one. Smashing me. It, okay, it would smash you. Smash me, smashing me. One because bite, I, you're done. Yeah, because you how do you get it? <laughs> well, don't you have hands? You're a defensive player. You can't catch him by the head and be like, yo, done off. But you if he bites you, you're dead. Yeah, but you can catch it before it bite, like catch it on the head, be like ah. But then, how do you attack it? Then how do you like? How would you get him? Yo, you catch the head, just yeah. smash it on the ground. Like I'm oh. not going anywhere in his mouth because if he bites you, he's it's over for you. You you're not gonna dodge it. I think it's actually really hard to outrun a snake. Like snakes can move fucking fast. What do you? I'm running from a snake. I'm running from a snake. You can. I want to. I'm saying. Head. I'm saying. You're not grabbing his head. You try to do that. How <laughs> fast can? Let me see this. How fast can a snake crawl? Uh, let's see. Oh, strike. I'm very strike. Somewhere between forty-four and seventy milliseconds. Okay, so I'm not going to catch a snake. I'll say that a snake can strike within forty-four and seventy-seven milliseconds. Yeah. 
you know how fast that is? That's the thing. You can't defend against you. You can't defend against that. Hold on. How fast can you run? Because a black mamba snake can slither. Okay, black, no, that's a mamba. It that's can slither mamba. around 12 miles per hour. <laughs> Can I do 12 miles an hour? I think I can do 12. I think I can do 12, 12 miles, miles per hour. hour. I mean, I can do 12 kilometers an two hour. Two kilometers per hour is, let's see. You're not, oh, can you run 20 kilometers per hour? It, it seems slow, but that's actually. That's fast. That's fucking fast. Yeah. That's fucking fast. Yeah, you're not doing that. All right. Snake, I say I'm. I'm, a, I'm a, I don't think I'd be a snake. I'm not, I'm not be a snake. snake. I, All right, here's a simple one. Rabbit. You got to answer for the sake of the show. Smashing a rabbit. All right. You know what? I might. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about. I might lose the hyena because I feel like. Oh, you're going back now. I think I might. I might bite the shit out of you. I'm actually thinking about that. I might bite the shit out. No, this whole time you've been thinking about hyena. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I just been watching. I just know. I watched the Lion King when I was younger, and they was getting busy. Listen, look. I don't really know hyena size, and you will 100 percent change your mind. Okay. I I think they might smash you. Okay, so I think I think it's needless to say you will lose. No chance. Rabbit, I, rabbit. I, rabbit's just like the, I have to give you yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, Lion, you would 100% do not say you would win a fight. Zero please. chance on being a lion. Lion okay. will fucking eat my food. Gorilla, because before you said maybe a gorilla. I think a gorilla would smash me. It would, it would literally have you for breakfast and shit you up. Smash me. I heard a gorilla could smash a fucking, like, a bear or something like that. I think a gorilla could beat a bear or something. Yo, I'm pretty sure I heard that. All I'm saying is you Look never, that up. Look that up. You gorilla versus bear. <laughs> you know how many YouTube's I'm pretty sure. Gorilla versus bear. This is actually very popular. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a real thing. Um, what is that? Would a gorilla beat a bear? While gorillas okay. are quick, making speeds up to twenty miles per hour, the bears have them beat. All the bear would need to do is stand up in his full height of seven feet and drop on his back to crush the gorilla in a forceful oh, eight hundred oh, pound body slam. There you go. Yeah, never mind. Someone the fact that though, like, the fact that you even know. that's even a challenge, like, is, means that you have no chance against a gorilla. Like, <laughs> I know, <laughs> gorilla, no bear, or Joe. <laughs> yeah, like, we're okay. getting crushed by a bear. Two more, La uh, Giselle. I, I don't even know what that is. Uh, Giselle, oh, can, like Giselle, 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 sorry, Giselle, 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 Giselle. Giselle. Yes, you can't Giselle. run from it. You definitely are not outrunning a gazelle. Like you have to go toe to toe with those horns. Do I have a weapon? Nope. Huh. If you had a weapon, all of these would probably be a win. Well, depending on the weapon, of course. You're losing to the gorilla. The gazelle. I know it's a gazelle, and you think, I think you're losing the gazelle. Like, how do you how do you defend against a gazelle? If a gazelle is running at you at full speed, what do you do? You're not going to stop that. It. You can't dodge it. You can't use no jujitsu to like use this weight. No. On it. no. Like, what that's, would you do? that's why I put this one in there. Like that's a. No, I'm t- I, even if you put your leg out, it's running right through you and crushing you. Like you would have to <clears throat> take a hit and hold it, and then just try to fucking strangle. No, it. It doesn't have could, no. You can maybe trip it. You might be able to like drop and trip it, trip it. Oh, fetus fetal position, and then like get it to land on his back type of thing, atta- and then attack it. Well, it'll probably just get running back up. so fast. That These things recover drop. like nothing. Like they fall, they just they literally. Yeah, just, it's true. It's true. Like, I, 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 I think I would actually say no to Gazelle because I don't know how I Zero would chance. beat it. Zero chance. Zero um, chance. Last one. This I'm hoping this is a tricky one. A mountain goat. Like the ones who like stand up with their hind legs and like butt heads like like it's nothing. How are you going to beat a mountain goat? I'm going to grab it by its horns and fucking dominate him. Jump on his back? Are you kidding me? I'm going to ride a little bitch. <laughs> Fucking grab by his horn, right little bitch. I'm gonna fucking put him in a suplex. Boston fucking crab. I'm gonna fucking suplex the shit out of him. Break his back. Are you kidding me? Are you sick? <laughs> Fuck that guy. No, I'm fucking go. I'll curry your shit. I'll curry the shit out of you. <laughs> you fucked. Hey, we're roti. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo, you take one lick from that. You're not, I'm not. that headbutt. How yeah, you but survive the thing headbutt? is that, See, this is the problem. You're not fast enough. You could only you only have one direction to hit. Once I dodge that and I get behind you, it's over. They don't have defense behind them. I would love if I can create some kind of virtual reality and like play this out like with some AI. It would be the best yeah. thing. Just seeing Joe and his Nike football cleats just freaking dodging these goats. 
jumping on his neck and just making some curry You're stew. Crazy. Right I'll after. be right beside the tree, dodge the tree, boom, come around, come rack around. <laughs> by the horse boom, snap his neck oh man that'd be fun that'd be fun i would get i'm not saying i wouldn't oh. get fucked up but i'm saying i'm i'm smashing him oh my gosh this is hilarious so rabbit 100 snake no fox dummy dog dummy mountain goat apparently you will steal the shit out of him Smash. uh giselle or gazelle was it no. giselle gazelle whatever it is giselle, no that's man. a tough one that's a sleeper i think that's a oh, sleeper no fucking monkey ass. depending on the monkey Yes, hyena. Apparently, Joe can somehow no. defeat a no. hyena. No, 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 no. no, no. You said back. yes before. You said <laughs> yes. You said yes with so much confidence. Oh, you said a hyena is one and a half feet tall. This guy has never seen a hyena in his entire life. <laughs> Guaranteed. Where we gonna see that? So apparently, Joe was confident before, but now he came to his wits. Me, definitely not. Lion, not even gonna try. I'll literally just say. I'll say a prayer. I'll say, all right, I had a good life. Gorilla, not a chance. I'm getting dummied. 100% same with Joe. Yeah. Joe, thank you so much yeah, for coming time, on man. the show. Thank I you. hope you enjoyed it. You had some great insight, yeah, dude. It was a good time, man. Um, if you want, do you want to tell people where they can hit you up, first of all? Um, you don't have to. Instagram. Instagram is the only place you can really hit me up. I there you think go. My Instagram is Dick Hennessy. <laughs> Spelled like Dick. And Hennessy. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was a good time. Thank you for having me. I, I want to get on here and chat. It's always a good time. Anytime, hey man. man. Always Anytime. a good time just to chat about anything. Uh, you're a good, good, good guest. Thank you so much. For all those who are here, um, first of all, you can tell your friends. The best thing I can ask for is a like, comment, a follow, a share. Um, you can hit us up at a coming page dot the podcast at gmail.com you can subscribe on any podcast streaming channel there is you name it we are on it um and you can check us out also on instagram at a come of age underscore and again thank you so much joe for what do you guys on. drop we drop every tuesday every tuesday okay morning. all right so Fire um up. you'll hear this uh hitting in the next few hours and that's it amazing with that everybody i and joe am out